perm is over, but it has just begun. Let me share with you an interesting story, what I have now throughout perm. An interesting experience. This guy comes over to me asking me, Maishi, what do I do now? I'm high. I'm happy. What's my next step? What would I do now with my happiness? Side note, this guy never talks to me. Almost never talks to me. He's a very quiet, shy guy. He does what he's got to do and he moves on. And he asked me this question. I told him, sorry, I can't help you. I don't know. I don't know how you're feeling. The last time I was high, I was like 10 years ago, and I don't remember how I felt at that point to know where to go about it and how to go about it. Sorry. But then I realized, you know, the fact that you're coming over to me to ask me this question shows that when you're high, you're open with yourself. You speak your thoughts. You say what you think without any hesitation. And then I realized that this is what you should do. You should speak your thoughts, you should say what you feel to the one who you always wanted to talk to, but you never have the opportunity to talk to because you don't feel this connection to him, because you never saw him. You never had this experience of knowing him, so you don't trust yourself to talk to him. And I'm talking about Hashem. Now you are happy with yourself, you're willing to talk to others, those who we always scared to talk to. Now, just say your thoughts, your questions, answers, you name it. You feel something, now is the opportunity, the right time to talk to him. You never saw him, it's okay. But you trust yourself that you could ask and you could talk to him. So I told him, turn around, talk to the one above. He's waiting for your call. And we should take this experience and use it throughout the whole year. And if we talk to Hashem every day, face to face, then we'll live every day with a smile.